Hey guys, it's Molly. I'm gonna do a Dutch pour on a black base tonight using the Arteza pouring paints. And it was actually a viewer recommendation to do the neon colors on the black base. So I thought, what a great idea. I love the fact that you guys comment and inspire me really to, um, to do certain paintings or to think about certain things. So I so appreciate it. Thank you so much for all that you guys do for me as well with my art. So um, also a lot of people had contacted me because the uh, comparison pour that I did, um, I, there were a couple of viewers that said that they were being discontinued. People that actually worked at Michael's and people that had gone to Michael's let me know that um, there are some signs up now saying due to high demand, the artist loft won't be back in stock until X month. So somebody in Texas said December. I'm going to go to my Michael's today and see what the deal is. And then um, if nobody knows, then I will email the company. Um, so Julie had given me uh, Julie Rositer. Oh, I might have butchered that. I'm sorry. Uh, she gave me that recommendation. So you can always just email the company and, and I'm sure they'll let you know. So um, that is not potentially true that they're being discontinued and they could just be in such high demand that they are out of stock right now. So without further ado, I'll get you down on the canvas. So I have my Arteza Neons here. And like I said in the beginning, this was actually a viewer recommendation. So because of when I did the comparison pour and it, you know, all the paints dried really quickly, I'm gonna pour these on while I'm talking to you. But this was, like I said, actually a viewer recommendation. I'm gonna get all of that out of there. And um, I just wanted you guys to know how much, you know, I, I get messages all the time like, oh my gosh, you inspired me to do, whoop. <laughs> you inspired, man down, man down. Uh, you inspired me to do this. Or um, they show me a picture and say this was inspired by you but I hope you guys realize you guys inspire me too um, I mean I can't speak for other artists but having a YouTube channel and having so many people you know even if it's a very small community of people to throw ideas off of and to talk with I mean you guys are inspiring just as much as you tell me I am to you so I really really appreciate that I hope you guys know that um, all right, so what I did, I took some Artist Loft Flow Acrylic because I didn't know how well this would coat um, on the sides, and I went ahead and painted my sides black like I normally do. So the, the sides are just Artist Loft. I'm just letting this, so actually two, I had a third black as well, but I mean, you guys will let me know if that's, guys, I can't see it. Am I getting coverage there? I guess I'll see it at the end. <laughs> Um, so I didn't know if it would cover that. I just lost my whole train of thought. I didn't know if it would cover that well, so I went ahead and, but the last time I had the extra bottle here, but two bottles is just fine. I'm obviously not good at multitasking today, you guys. I'm trying to talk to you and spread this at the same time. Uh, Heck, that's good to go. So I've got an even layer on there. Wipe this off. I just use like a regular spatula. I have a couple silicone spatulas as well. All right, so I don't even need this. Let me put this back on. So these are the Arteza pouring paints. And the viewer had said, why don't you do them in neon colors like I did with my other Arteza because the neon shows up well on black and the black light. So I'm gonna start with my blue. Again, they seem a little bit thick. I am gonna do a, a pour. Oh, that pink was a lot thinner. I am still gonna do a pour where I put a little bit of water or some type of medium in these to see how it comes out. I'm gonna put a lot of paint on here because normally the paint would blow and spread. I wouldn't have to put that much. But what I did in my last one, because the paints are so thick and because I haven't added anything to thin them out, um, I have a little, 
those will dry straight. Um, and because I didn't have anything to thin it out, I'm gonna put a lot of paint on here and have this kind of like a color explosion. Maybe a little bit more blue. That blue is thick, man, compared to all the other ones. Okay, so do I just blow it out or pour a little bit of black around? Let me see if I have any more black in here. I really don't think that's gonna matter. That was like the most minute amount of black left over ever. Okay. Pour a little bit around. I'm not gonna blow it over. I'm just I'm just using this kind of to help spread it a little bit, I think. Okay. Here I go. I think I'll go. Maybe I'll just go off both sides right here and then blow out a little bit here. Interesting, I still got some cell lacing over here. What do you think? I don't know if I want, that's very interesting. I'm still getting some little tiny cells popping up. Do I want to blow it like a flower this way and this way? Maybe I should. actually a really cool effect this black as it kind of does like a gradient over it very interesting let me blow this out just a little bit more Very interesting effect. So I don't really like this one little piece right here. So what happened is that orange kind of started to pull over all those colors. I should have left that part alone right there because now I don't like this thing that's happening right here. Hmm, and I don't want to mess with it anymore. Oh, I don't know what to do. I, let me pour in a little bit of, where's my black? Let me just get rid of that part right there because I definitely didn't like that. You guys always say I fiddle too much, so I think I'm going to leave it the way that it is. And then I'll show it to you dry, so make sure you check out the end of the video and you'll be able to see 
Okay, so here's what I was talking about. See how the that color right there kind of started to like break apart? Um, gosh, every time I get like that, my the black turns the screen like this gray color. But look at those little cells that popped up over there. It's like this tiny little bit of cell action that happened with, with nothing in there, just the paints crossing over each other. I really honestly like it though and I'm sure I'm gonna like it in the black light I'm sure it's gonna show up really cool um yeah I wish that hadn't happened right there but oh well I still I don't know I kind of like the piece you guys can can let me know and I'll show you um when it's dry but look at all the kind of now this normally happens with the um artist loft that overlayment of color but it happened here too so that is really, really cool. Thank you so much for the recommendation. I don't know if I would have tried this. All right, so I'll show you guys when it's dry. I'll see you in a second. Okay, guys, so it's just wet right up there. Um, my lighting, it is definitely not showing how really cool this is. Let me set it up like that. Okay, there we go. So you've got some of the color overlayment there. I don't know. I keep saying that word. I don't know if it's a real word. I think it is on a roof. <laughs> there are those little cells that popped up that are super cute. So in the light, I mean, like regular, it still looks really cool. A lot of times neons go very dull. Um, but this looks really cool. And then I'm going to varnish it, but I'm going to show it to you in oh there's my little what i'm working on back there little wine holders um but i'm going to show it to you under black light so stay tuned yay here it is okay my shadow is a little bit in the way but you guys can get the idea it is so cool oh i'm in the way It looks like it's on fire. That is so freaking neat. I love these neon paints. I mean, I don't really know anyone that has a black light anymore in their home. <laughs> if you do, you're amazing. Um, if you do, please comment and let me know this is for you. But it just looks so cool. Gosh, I wish my phone wasn't in the way and I could like close you close up. Oh, so cool. All right. There you go. There you have it. Little neon black base pour that glows in the black light. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Happy painting. Bye.